Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Talwalker. In triangle ABC, AB is equal to AC. From vertices A and B, construct line segments that meet at point P in the interior of the triangle. Suppose PAB is equal to 20 degrees, PBA is equal to 10 degrees, and PAC is equal to 60 degrees. The question is to solve for the value of angle APC marked as X. Many people emailed me this problem. It's a very challenging and fun problem. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. Before I made the video, I posted the problem to Twitter. I was overwhelmed by the number of responses. I want to thank each person who sent me a solution. There really are many neat and clever ways to solve this problem. In this video, I'm just going to share one solution by Ahmet Chaitin. To get started, notice that AB is equal to AC. Thus, we have an isosceles triangle, and the angles opposite these sides must be equal to each other. Since the vertex angle is equal to 80 degrees, each of these equal angles will be equal to 50 degrees. This means ACB is equal to 50 degrees, and ABC is equal to 50 degrees, which means PBC is equal to 40 degrees. Now, let's construct AD such that AD has the same length as AB and AC, and DAC is a 40 degree angle. This means PAD is a 20 degree angle. Mark E as the intersection of AD with side BC. Consider triangle AEC. Two of its angles are 40 degrees and 50 degrees, so its remaining angle must be equal to 90 degrees. This is a right triangle. Now by vertical angles, DEB will also be equal to 90 degrees. Now let's construct DB. Consider triangle ABD. Again, this is an isosceles triangle. So the two angles that are opposite the equal sides must be equal to each other. The vertex angle in this triangle is 40 degrees, so the two equal angles will have measures of 70 degrees. This means ADB is equal to 70 degrees, and consequently EBD will be equal to 20 degrees. We will now construct DC. ADC is exactly congruent to ABD. Therefore, we will have a 70 degree angle here, we'll have a 20 degree angle here, and we will have that DC and DB are equal to each other. We will then construct DP. What can we say now? Well, ABP and ADP are congruent triangles. Consequently, we must have that this angle here is 10 degrees, which means the other angle will be 60 degrees. We then consider triangle PBD. Notice that two of its angles are equal to 60 degrees, which means the remaining angle will be equal to 60 degrees. Therefore, we have an equilateral triangle where all of its sides are equal to each other. From here, we consider triangle PDC. This is an isosceles triangle with a vertex angle of 80 degrees, so the other two angles will be equal to 50 degrees each. So DPC is 50 degrees, and finally, PCE will be equal to 30 degrees. The remaining angle will be equal to 20 degrees. We thus look at triangle APC. Two of its angles are equal to 60 degrees and 20 degrees. Therefore, the remaining angle must be equal to 180 minus 60 minus 20, which means X is equal to 100 degrees. And that's our answer. It's a very challenging problem, but I like how it all works out. Thanks for making Mind Your Decisions one of the best channels on YouTube. As always, thanks for watching and thanks for your support.